Let's go ahead and create a calculated field or a custom field within the pivot table um, that basically allows us to join two columns together while it's, while it's whether it's taking the product or summing them or whatever. Um, so with this, what I want to do is potentially get some revenue um, projection type data on a per client basis. So let's come down here and let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take out our salesperson. I'm actually going to take out my date here, my years. So I have pretty much everything by client by product sales and I'm gonna go ahead and let's, let's go ahead and decrease this chart here and now okay so I have my um, here I have my revenue by client or my product sales by client so let's get some projections so let's say for instance I potentially think that I'm going to um, increase my sales by client you know by 10%. So what's let's see what that would be like. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another column and we're going to call it projected revenue where we multiply our current product sales by 20% or 1.2 to get what we think it's going to be in the future. So let's go to options and we have our pivot table selected so what we're going to do is we're going to create a formula here which is a calculated field and I like to put a star in front of my calculated field so I can differentiate between what's a calcula calculated field versus a true field and we're going to call this projected product sales and I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to make this be 1.2 times and we're going to multiply it times our product sales here and all I have to do is double click it or I could type it in if I wanted and I'm going to click OK. Now um, you can see essentially what happened here was the product sales were put in by client which is a projected so what I want to do is, is actually um, come in here and remove what my current product sales are and now I got a projection so I could you know potentially come in and have two separate worksheets in which I have sales and then projected sales in fact let's go ahead and do that real fast so I'm going to just insert another worksheet in here and we're going to call this let's move this one over and we're going to call this projected cells and we're going to call this current cells so if I come in here and I'm just going to select the whole sheet go to my projected cells paste that in and then I'm going to go back to my current cells remember I put um, my projected cells in here so I need to modify um, my pivot um, fill this here to add my product cells versus my projected cells. Alright, so here I have my um, current cells and then now I'm going to go to my projected cells. Projected project. Oh, I, uh, I named that project. I guess I should have. I named this project product sales. Let's go ahead and go in there and rename that. I'm going to go back to my formulas, my calculated field, and I'm going to select project. So that was my bad. So let's go ahead and call that projected product sales. Click OK. And then uh, notice how it now created if I go back to my calculated field, there's now actually two, so I can go ahead and delete the old one, and then click OK, and now we have our projected cells that are in there. And I want to um, also go ahead and um, go back to my home here, and I want to remove my grid lines here. Actually, it's a um, 
right here. It's on their page layout. Alright, cool. So here we have um, side by side, we have our current cells, and then we have our projected cells. Now, if you wanted, once again, you could put this on uh, one pivot table, one pivot chart, or you could have these potentially on the. Um, I'm going to come in here, and you could put these right next to each other if you wanted to as well. I kind of don't have as much screen real estate here since I have to put this in flash so that it'll fit in everybody's viewers. But if this is something you wanted to do, you could do, because you would have a lot more screen real estate than a normal um, Excel window.